Welcome back, folks, to the Brian Beatty Real Estate Show here on the Big Talker 1250 WTMA and WTMA.com. Uh, I always like to take a minute and just say that I appreciate those of you that listen to this program. You know, we've been on the station for 10 years now, uh, giving you my insight and, and expert opinion of the real estate market, helping shape your understanding of not just the market and the direction of the market, but but how this all works. You know, that's I, and I really, frankly, pride myself in kind of peeling back the curtain on this industry a little bit because there is some elusiveness to it. There's a little smoke and mirrors in, in this industry. And uh, I'm trying to uh, end that as much as possible by working with folks that still believe in honesty and integrity and professionalism. And so if you're thinking of buying a home, you're thinking of selling a home, you want to invest in real estate, you have a home you'd like for us to manage, maybe even you want to sell real estate yourself, you want to become an agent. Let's talk. Let's see if there's an opportunity for us to help you. My number is 843-800-0065. That's 843-800-0065. Or go to listingsincharleston.com. A lot of great information on there. You can check us out on YouTube. We've got like 800 something videos on there. Uh, you can listen to our podcast on iTunes, Spotify, Google Play. We're, we're anywhere you want information, essentially. So uh, we hope you check us out or, or give us a call if we can help you in any way. All right. So I want to, you know, we had just talked about some incentives associated with working with some top tier real estate agents. And I think that that's really important right now, right? It, going back to what we talked about at the beginning of the show, real estate's just a little slow right now. There's a overall lack of motivation to move outside of people that need to move, right? There, there are always going to be people that need to move. There will always be transactions in real estate. In fact, there'll be about 4 million every year uh, nationwide based on need, need to sell rather than want to sell. What I, th there are a lot of people that want to sell, but just can't make sense out of it right now. And, and rightfully so. I mean, if they're sitting in, you know, their home and they're paying on a 3% mortgage and then they have to go and buy something at a 7.5% mortgage, it looks unattractive on paper. I, I totally get it. And that's, you know, I'll say this. There are a lot of agents that have figured out a way essentially to say that, hey, right now is the best time to buy or right now is the best time to sell. And that's just not true. And you know it's not true. And, and that's part of the reason why our industry has the reputation it has is because they're treating everything as if it's sales rather than consulting, rather than really understanding what you're trying to accomplish and then giving you the honest, hard truth about whether you, what you want to accomplish is achievable or not. Again, you have to have a lot of transactions under your belt. You have to be able to creatively find solutions for folks outside of just traditional means. And what I mean by that are things like buying a home and assuming that current owner's mortgage. I mean, there's a huge opportunity for that, but no one talks about it. There's an opportunity to buy a home subject to the existing mortgage. If you're an investor, I don't hear anybody talking about that. There are ways to structure the sale and purchase of a new home that does not require you to just make an offer to the seller that says, hey, I'd really like to buy your house. In fact, I'm going to pay probably a little more than what it's worth just for you to take my offer seriously because I need to sell my home first. There are ways around that. So I just encourage you, if you're thinking of transacting in real estate, again, talk to some agents, get a feel for how experienced they truly are, how committed they truly are. If you want that list of questions to ask real estate agents, I'm happy to provide it for you. I'll just, I'll give you the cheat sheet. And they're tough questions. They're questions that the agent should be comfortable answering. And if they beat around the bush, then that should be a red flag to you. So if you want those questions, just text the word questions to 843-800-0065. That's 843-800-0065. Or you can just go to listingsincharleston.com and go to the contact tab and, and I'll send it over to you. But uh, it's really important, especially right now with the market shifting right in front of us for you to choose an agent that is competent, knowledgeable, has big marketing budgets, will be able to weather this storm, so to speak, uh, because, you know, transaction count, again, it's down 30%. I look at this data very, very closely. I don't think I'd be able to have a radio show if I were not an expert in this market. 
And I'll tell you just right now, over the past 30 days, we've seen almost a 20% increase in price adjustments compared to the 30 days prior to that. The market is shifting right now. And I've been telling folks on this show, for those of you that listen, that this is, this is coming. This is coming. Well, I'm, it's here. The market is shifting. Your window of opportunity as a seller is starting to close a little more rapidly than you probably think. Properties are sitting on the market longer. People are negotiating more. Sellers are, are willing to give buyers a better deal because they see the writing on the wall, at least the ones that are informed. And that's what I want you to be. Regardless of whether you're actually going to buy or sell something right now, it pays dividends to be an informed consumer. And that goes for anything and everything, really. But going back to what I was mentioning a little bit earlier before we took the break are, are just some of the incentives that I think you may be uh, should take into consideration when hiring an agent. And those could be things like, you know, if you sell with us and buy with us, we'll pay your moving expenses. Or maybe a, a menu of commissions to choose from when selling your house. You know, if your goal is to maximize profit, there's no one way to do that. There are a few different strategies that you can employ. And those different strategies could come with different commission percentages. So I think it's really important to work with an agent that knows how to um, you, you know, kind of finagle those percentages a little bit in order to help you accomplish what you want to accomplish in order to make sense out of moving. Or maybe it's, hey, well, if we can't sell your home, then we'll buy it from you. I mean, I'll tell you right now, I am actively pursuing purchasing several homes. And if you think that there, there might be an opportunity for us to work together in that regard, we'll save you the commission entirely. We'll purchase your home from you. There will have to be some form of a discount uh, otherwise, it just doesn't make sense financially, right? Uh, no one's going to pay you full price and then turn it around and sell it because there's cost to buy it, cost to sell it. I mean, that's that right there is about 10%. So some things to maybe take into consideration. You know, another thing might be, hey, I've got this home that I really, I haven't renovated it. I know it needs some work. Cosmetically, it's outdated. Or maybe it needs a new roof or it needs a new HVAC. Maybe all these things combined. And if I could just find a way to fix this house up, I know I could sell my home for way more money than it would cost me to fix it up. Well, maybe we talk about our uh, repair to sell program, our renovate to sell program. You know, there, there are some very interesting ways for you as a consumer to benefit when working with an agent that has the ability and financial stability to offer these incentives to you outside of just traditional real estate agents. Cause there are plenty of agents out there right now that, and, and I know because I'm part of all of these Facebook groups and every single day it's agents saying, Hey, what are you guys doing to find deals right now? Uh, you know, my sales are, you know, way down. I'm thinking, what are some side hustles I can get into? You know, agents are hurting right now. The ones that have been in this market for a long time. And frankly, the ones like me that learned how to sell real estate, post crash of 2008 are the ones that have the skill set and the stability to offer these incentives to you. So do your research, find the agent that is going to give you not only the best shot at accomplishing your real estate goal, which might require some creative measures. Maybe we look for a seller that's offering seller financing because they don't have a mortgage on the house. You know, you can play around with the purchase price and the interest rate that you set with that seller in order to accommodate the monthly payment you want. It's just, just another example. But I think the point is, find an agent out there that can help you uh, really construct a plan to your maximum benefit. And if that's something I can help you with, I'd love the opportunity to earn your business. You know, 843-800-0065 is my number. Let's chat. Let's see if we might be able to help you. 843-800-0065. Or check us out online, listingsincharleston.com. That's listingsincharleston.com. We're going to take a quick break and then we're going to come back and we're going to talk. If you do need to sell your house right now, some things that I think are incredibly important for you to take into consideration. So stick around. This is the Brian Beatty Real Estate Show right here on the Big Talker, 1250 WTMA and WTMA.com. Visit Brian Beatty's website at listingsincharleston.com. The Brian Beatty Real Estate Show continues next on The Big Talker, 1250 WTMA.